hello in today's video i will show you step by step process for registering istqb foundation level exam in india i will also tell you how you can save around 1200 rupees in this exam before moving to the registration process first i will explain you some terms for better understanding this process first is member board so istqb has its member board in each country who are responsible for conducting this exam in their respective country so for india we have indian testing board itb or you can also search for istqb.in who is responsible for conducting this exam in india second term is exam platform in india we have two platform first is td and second is pearson view i will also explain you in the video that which platform you have to select third term we have exam type so in exam type again we have two exam type first is public exam and the second one is corporate exam public exam is for the individuals who are applying for this istqb foundation level for by their own and the corporate in corporate your company arrange or conduct this exam for their employee so for the corporate one you may need to contact your company or your hr or manager they may share some details how to proceed for the, that exam but in today's video i am discussing the registration process for the public exam coming to the process as you can see in the screen that uh, we have six different steps to follow first, first one is we have to go to our member board website that is istqb.in then second is we have to select exam platform which i have mentioned we have two platform td and pearson view we have to select among these two then on third step we have to fill the uh, form with our details and then we have to make payment for the exam after payment is done we have to do some confirmation on the email we will be receiving some email and we also have to provide some detail on the email which i will share later uh, what details you have to share and at last you will receive an exam link so i will show these uh, six step to you by doing it on my screen now i have opened istqb.in in this website you have to you will get this uh, link here for the public exam click on this link now this page will be opened and here you can see uh, below there is one table in this table first two rows which says foundation level FL uh, first time so we have to check these two rows but why these two uh, rows have different fee, uh, different fees because the platform is changed on the first one the platform is td and the second one is it pearson so uh, if you go with the td platform you will save around 1200 rupees so i will say you please go with this exam there is not major difference in these two in sometime i will also share the difference between these two but for this video i am selecting the td and all the process which i am following and which i will share with you is for the td platform so the registration form and the emails which i which all i will share is for td now uh, for more details on these two we will click on this foundation level button here you will see the procedure you have to click on this this space will be open with two mentioning two platform once you click on this it get expand and the features of each one is mentioned so if you go with the first one Pearson view you get the exam result just after you ended up with the uh, your exam your scroll will be displayed and also you can schedule your exam according to your flexibility 24 by 7 but if you go with the second one your exam result will be shared within 20, uh, 24 to 48 hours 
and also for foundation level of exam only you can go with the Pearson view for all the other exam you have to select this TD mode so for this video as I said I am moving with the TD mode I so for this you have to click here in this page all the details related to TD mode uh, are mentioned I have to follow this ISTQV foundation level exam uh, procedure or details now one more thing which you should read here is uh, that once you are done with uh, filling the form and payment it is mentioned that you have to share that reference ID of your payment and uh, candidate criteria checklist on this email ID so uh, when you are doing your payment take a screenshot of your screen or either note down that reference ID and then for candidate criteria checklist you have to fill this form I'm opening it and I will show you what you have to fill this is the form again so here just you have to mention that compatibility check if all these things are available at your place you can mention yes 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 and then you can uh, save this form and you have to share this form as well as your reference ID on the mentioned email ID post your payment then moving further I stick with foundation level exam so for this exam we have to click here we are on the checkout page again add this and proceed you will be landed up here on the form which required all your details you have to fill these details and uh, while uh, selecting the exam date please note it down that exam date should be three days from today and also do not consider Saturday Sunday for counting these three days so for example if you are filling this form on Friday then count your first day from Monday then Tuesday then Wednesday if you are confused that third whether to consider third day or not then for to be on safer side I will say go with the fourth day that will be on we will be on safer side once you are done with all the forms uh, I mean filling this form and you have to click on this save button then you will see this form where your details will be mentioned and you have to again proceed with this also here exam fees is showing as 5300 but here they have not uh, included GST so on the next payment page you will get that uh, GST included here so you can see that exam fees is now uh, included with the GST so total cost is this and once you have done the uh, once you complete this payment you will get some reference ID or transaction ID so I will say take a screenshot of that reference ID because you have to send that reference ID on email then you might receive email like this from Indian testing board where you have to select exam date if the date which you have selected earlier is not available then they might ask for selecting some other dates and once you have confirmed with the date they will share the exam timing uh, one or two days before your exam you will also receive another mail from talent decrypt like this like this where your uh, I mean exam link will be given so here exam link uh, this open test button is here so once uh, you want to appear for the exam on the exam date click on this button and you will also receive one or two another mail from the same uh, saying you are confirming your exam date and exam time that may not be from the same talent D script but uh, mentioning the same subject ISTQB from the different uh, organization from the payment partner or I Indian testing board side so you will receive two three mails for all and at last you will receive this email but this email you might receive 
only one or two days before your exam so don't worry if you are not getting this email immediately so that's all for today's video and all the very best for your exam thank you for watching the video